Hey guys, welcome back to Feel Good Golf. I haven't had the chance to put a video out recently, but life's kind of taken over. I had the chance to actually win this event. This event will come as no surprise to people. I played with him today, and it was an absolute masterclass of golf. I've got a look to check again. The Whitney Lakes Club Champion, Sam Bus. <laughs> which was really nice. It was my fifth club championship. So delighted to get that one over the line, but we're back filming. And I'm gonna talk you through today how I went from an 18 handicapper to scratch in one summer. Now, I know what you're thinking at home, Sam, that's probably not possible, but it was. Um, I was playing golf a lot, admittedly. I was off for summer break and everything that I was doing out on the golf course, my practice, I'm gonna share with you at home and hopefully it can help but worth noting as well, oh, okay, that plane going over. a lot of this stuff was all free. I was a member at a golf course, so I could go out on the golf course as much as I would like. And I didn't have any money when I was a junior, so I didn't have the chance to go on the range, you know, a couple of times a week or get some really expensive golf equipment. I had to be really resourceful. So I'm going to share with you at home my secret and how I got down. Let me go and talk you through it. What a bad decision to carry today. So guys, I'm gonna keep this really simple for you at home and talk you through how I got so good so fast. And I mainly contribute that to only practicing on the golf course. I was playing all sorts of little games when I got on the golf course. And I think mainly because I didn't have any money to spend on range balls, realistically. That's probably the main reason I was out here so much, but I wasn't so worried about my golf swing. I wasn't you know, filming my swing, looking at certain positions or anything like that. I was more just learning how to create different shots. I was practicing out of really tough lies all of the time. I had three little games that I played when I was on my own, which kept me really competitive and really sharp. And I can talk you through those games now, but that's how I got really good because all of my practice was out here. I only got one take at every single shot, whereas on the driving range, you get loads of opportunities to hit the shot over and over again with no real consequence. Oh, I feel like I'm a bit out of breath walking up this hill. Whew, should have got my trolley out. But anyway, that's how I got really good from practicing on the golf course. Now, most of you watching this might be a member of a golf club or you might have easy access to get out on the golf course. So take advantage of that. It's really important to get out there and practice what you would be exactly doing in tournaments and when you're playing with your friends. Let me talk you through those couple of games that I would play out there that got me really, really sharp when I was a lot younger. The first game that I would play when I'm on my own on the golf course, I've got a bit of time to myself and I want to just get a really good practice session in. The first one is taking the woods out of the bag, guys. So I'm only going to be hitting long irons off every tee out here now and it's gonna put me in positions that I'm completely just not used to. So this hole, for example, I'd usually be hitting probably a driver and a five iron. Today, I'm gonna to have to hit four iron, four iron, and then some sort of wedge and try and make par with that. So leaving the woods in the car, giving yourself different shots is the first game that I would play just to make things really, really challenging. And a really great way to mix up this game and make it even tougher is to just hit different clubs off tees. So as you can see here, I'm hitting wedge off this tee and usually I'd be trying to drive this green. It's about 260 yards. I'd be trying to drive it, but today I'm gonna to hit wedge and then leave myself another wedge because it's just gonna make things different. And when I get to actually playing normal golf again, it's gonna to start to feel a lot easier because let's be honest, I've made it pretty tricky for myself during the practice, which is great. So when I was filming this video, I've got really reminded of Seve and the things he used to do when he used to practice. So whether it was using like a, a seven or eight iron out of a bunker, or I don't know if anyone else has seen that picture of where he actually created a, a hole on the beach and, you know, played around with the three iron to get it close. But it just shows that being creative on the course is way more important than practicing your swing on the driving range and trying to get it into certain positions, which, you know, might not be even achievable, you know? So getting out there and just playing golf, don't play golf swing. And oh, I've just seen my line now, that looks miserable. But it's gonna be a really good challenge to see if we can get it up and down. So that thing is pretty sat down. That's where we gotta get it close to. Let's have a go at it. Oh, that is gonna to be tough. So I'm really gonna to have to dig down on this one and get quite steep on it. It's probably gonna run out quite a bit to the hole, so let's try 
try and get up and down. So, not bad, give myself a chance for par. Oh, that was a good save there. I'm happy with that one. Greens are rolling so good at the moment. Okay, so we're using irons off the tees. We're making sure we've got really tough lies out on the golf course. This last game is a game that I used to play probably once a week where it's actually called worst ball. So what you would do is hit two shots off every tee and you'd always play the worst one. So what it does is if you hit a really good tee shot, so let's say you've hit the fairway, the next shot, you've definitely got to hit the fairway or hit even a better shot because if you really scuff it up, then you've got to play the worst one. So Zach Johnson is a massive fan of this. I know Dustin Johnson also plays this game. This is a really tough one because you've got to hit two great shots over back to back. So another great game that I play on my own and again, puts a lot of pressure on you. There's no one up there at the moment, so let's see if we can get two shots away. Oh, check out the new tee box. Okay, so two shots, got to hit two ones, hopefully down the fairway. I feel a little bit of pressure on me now, to be totally honest. Because this is an easy tee shot anyway. So, let's see what we can do. Hopefully two good ones, we've got to play the worst one. right semi so see if we can do a little bit better on this one and then hopefully that will be the worst shot you take that's perfect but gotta play the first one it's always sod's law just as people come up end up ballooning that one into the right hand rough and then ripping the second one made me look like a right idiot Guys, thank you so much for watching this far. Make sure you get out on the golf course. Stop being so worried about your golf swing. Stop taking loads of videos of how does this look? I'm worried about this position, that position. Get out there and get used to scoring. Use the games that I've shown you today to really get used to practicing under pressure. So leave the woods in the car. Try the game like worst ball. You know, make sure you give yourself bad lies out there as well. Practice as if you were playing a tournament and you'll definitely get better. It's how I got really good. It's how I was able to find out the secret for scoring around a golf course because I didn't actually hit the ball that well when I got down to scratch, but I knew how to score. And that is so, so powerful when you're not playing well. I really hope you found it useful at home. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and gets the video out to more people. I've got to go and find these balls now and play my worst one. See you soon, guys.